Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I'd talk about setting powders, specifically loose. I have um, the pressed ones as well, but we're talking about loose powders. So let's just jump right in. Um, let's start with the OG. I have the Laura Mercier. This is like the tiny little baby version, a little bit cheaper than, I have the bigger one too, but this is just like a travel one that I just take with me for touch-ups. Um, this has been out for, oh God, like years and years. It's kind of like a light beige color, like translucent. It looks beige, but it's really translucent. Anyone, any skin tone can wear this. And they have, I believe they have a darker one as well. Um, yeah, but it's just translucent right there. And it's very creamy. It doesn't crack under your concealer. I mean, on top of your concealer, it sets everything all day. This is like an OG favorite. One of my number ones. Let's see. I'll do my newer ones after. Um, I also have the infamous RCMA. It looks like a salt shaker. Um, it's a little annoying to get out because it literally is like a like salt or pepper shaker and a lot comes out. Um, it looks like pure white, but once it's on your skin, it kind of just blends in. It's very smoothing. This is more of like your, is this, is there silica in here, I think? Um, talc and silica is what's in this. And it looks, um, it's not that expensive. I got it on um, Beautylish, actually. Um, and it just sets, it's literally the no color powder, it sets everything in place. Um, I don't really like it for like baking or anything. I'll just do like a light dusting over my face. Um, oh, the term baking, it's not like baking in the oven. Um, it just means you put a, a heavy amount of powder, you know, like, you know, under your eye area, you know, you can do your T-zone, your smile line, just to kind of set in the makeup a little bit longer for the day. Well, actually it lasts all day when you do that. Um, but it can look cakey depending on what powder you use. All the powders I'm showing you today are just like my top powders and they don't, um, they don't cake up, they last, so don't worry about that. But some powders beware, they can leave a very crunchy, crinkly, crackly, like especially you have the lines under your eyes. Um, some of them will make you look really, really old and nobody likes that. We're trying to, you know, be young. Um, let's see, so I did these two already. I have the Hourglass Mineral Veil, super cute packaging. This to me is more of like your, doesn't really like have any longevity to your makeup, but it does set it beautifully. It just goes on kind of creamy. It doesn't really give any extra color or anything. And um, there's no smell of this one. It has a nice little divot there that the powder comes out. Have more of like dry skin, you would like it. You, know, you can do it like dusting. Um, I, my sister has more dry skin. I do this on her, it looks beautiful. It has like a nice, like, not like maybe a sheen, not really like a glow. You don't wanna look like a disco ball. Um, this is good as well, but like more of a setting, not really like a longevity powder. Like it doesn't control your oils or anything. Even if it says it does, it, to me it doesn't. <laughs> so all those have no fragrance. Also, let's go to a drugstore one, the Maybelline Fit Me. Now this has a little bit of coverage and color. So I got the color light medium. They have like a fair, a light. Um, they have darker shades too. Just gotta go to your local drugstore, Target, Walmart, CVS, whatever, look around. They'll definitely have like a shade for you. Um, but it does um, give you a color. So, you know, when you have your foundation on and you go to put this on, if it changes color a little bit, not anything crazy, but it will definitely add a little bit more coverage and a little bit of color. So if you have like a lightweight foundation, a light, I mean a light coverage foundation, um, this will add a little more coverage for you. And this color is a little bit dark for me to do like under my eye baking. So I just use it as like a setting powder. Um, but if I had like the light version, I would definitely do um, you know under my eyes to set for the day. It's a very um, high rated powder on YouTube as well. Um, so yeah, that's this. There's no fragrance in this one either. Now let's talk about some fragrance. I have three of them that have fragrance. Um, I have Huda Beauty. Um, I heard it smells like her foundation. I don't have her foundation, but to me it smells good. Like kind of perfumey. Some people think it's too much, but I like it. And I have the shade Pound Cake in this. This is like a light color, but it doesn't give coverage. It just gives like a nice super airbrush look. Um, this is like my second favorite to Laura Mercier. When I tried this the first time, I was blown away. It lasts all day. My skin looks beautiful, smooth, poreless. I enjoy the smell. It has like a little sifter. So it has a little um, cap and then it has a sifter. 
oh, I can smell it. It smells so good. So it looks like that. It doesn't add any coverage. It's just kind of like that perfect um, setting powder. This is like really my favorite one. I've had it for a couple months now. I love it. I use it all the time. Like this is like my go-to powder. Um, so I love this. And an OG but a goodie. This has been around four evs. The Cody Airspun. I have the shade uh, Translucent Extra Coverage, and I like it so much. I have the shade Naturally Neutral. Thank you to Tati on uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, she got me turned on to this a couple years ago. Um, so this this smells like a grandma, not in a bad way. Like your your little lady grandma. We all love grandmas. It has a really oh, it's, but it's okay. It's really messy as you can tell. I just got it all over my table. It has like that old lady, grandma, oldie smell. I like it. I just clean some of this up. I like the smell. Um, it's really good for baking. It's good for setting. It's just a classic loose setting powder. It doesn't give you, it gives you a little bit of coverage, but like translucent coverage, if that makes any sense. Like it just kind of looks like the Huda Beauty, very airbrushed. And it's really cheap. I think it's like, when I got it, it was like five bucks, but it's like, I think six, six now or something. I get it at Walmart. Um, they usually have it at Walmart or online. And um, yeah, it's an oldie but a goodie. Always a staple, always have this. Again, this I think they have like a non-scented one, but I've never seen it in person. So that's good as well. Um, the newest powder that I have is the Jeffree Star. I have it in the packaging, beautiful, first of all. I have the color beige, hot pink. Love it, it's so pretty. This smells like like a burnt sugar cotton candy like not in a bad way it's really good and it has like a sifter but I, of course I spilled out a lot because I'm clumsy but oh it smells so good and it doesn't linger like none of these like linger on your face like after you know blend them in give it a few minutes it, they all smell fine the ones that have fragrance anyway um I got the shade beige like I said this adds a nice poreless look as well it lasts all day it's beautiful Nothing really bad to say about it. I, this is, I had it for about maybe two months now. Use it a handful of times, you know, I like it. Now the number one blurring pore primer, I, excuse my face, I have no makeup on, I'm all red. I'm gonna do another um, video after this doing like my everyday kind of makeup that I've been doing. So that's why I'm gonna sh like do a little kind of step-by-step, -step, quick little clips of, of what I'm doing for my everyday makeup. So that's why I look like this and ignore the hair. It's just what I do. Um, so this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Poreless Finishing Airbrush Powder. Very long name. But this is so, it's like, it's kind of small. What is it? It's like 6.8 grams, but I mean, you only use a tiny bit. Like I don't use this to bake. I just like use a brush like this and I will just tap in it and just like pack it under the eye a little bit. Maybe leave it for like a couple seconds and kind of dust it away. And the pores I'll pack it on. Just like my T-zone, basically. I use it for under my eyes as well. This, you look you have like baby doll, perfect skin. It lasts all day. It's beautiful. I, I have the, I've tried the translucent one before. Not, not really a fan. I mean, it's okay if you're like on the go, but I, the loose one's where it's at. And I figured this out from, um, I got the idea to get this from Angie from Hot and Flashy. She's on YouTube as well. Um, she uses this, she's um, a little bit older woman. I think she's like in her mid fifties, like 54 or something. But her skin is beautiful and she uses it all the time and her pores look great. So I had to have it. So I use it and it's really good. This is also like maybe my number, well, it's kind of, I have like three number ones kind of. Laura Mercier, Huda Beauty and this. I can't really decide, but they're all really good. And yeah, this literally no pores, translucent. Um, airbrush skin. This is like the best one probably for your pores. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them below. Like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Have a nice day. Bye.